What's up everybody, it's Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers, back on our Corvette build. Uh, which at some point I need to get around to naming. So, uh, I made some alterations yet again to the uh, airlock area, but I figured I didn't want to spend a whole other episode on it, so I just went ahead and did it, and, you know, go from there. But basically, the suggestion, one of the suggestions that I got on the last episode was to flip the idea so that you're not having to walk up a ramp all the time to go in and out of your ship, but kind of keep the, um, what I dubbed the TIE Fighter design. And I kind of was like, that's actually not a bad idea. So I tried that, and I still feel like it's a little cramped, but I think it's better than always having to go up and down a ramp, because if you're in first person, you can just kind of walk past the elevator and, you know, move on. I did put a little two-way toggle here. Um, for that So it comes down about here now the only problem with it this way though I kind of realized it would be a problem either way really is If you come in and then want to go straight up you kind of have to go through the hallway and turn around and back up because of this bar um, There's no real way for you to get around the, um, the Elevator at this point So that's kind of a yeah you know, like, it, it was an unexpected side effect, basically. A um, couple other things that I did throughout the ship. Uh, one thing is up here, I changed this around to where it is now kind of matching the design that we did. Um, I am having a problem with this ladder, though. Like, I'll extend it, but it does not seem to be letting me to grab hold of it and climb up it anymore which is a little... I'm not sure if it's the mod or what. And I thought at first, well, maybe it's because I took out the platform underneath of it. Maybe it has some kind of check where it needs that. Uh, so I actually tore this front ramp part out and put a bunch of flat blocks down. Didn't seem to help at all. So I don't know if there's some kind of problem going on with the mod or what. Um, I'm really not sure what that's about. But when I walked right up to it, it wasn't letting me, like, hit the T button and, and climb onto it and climb up it. Not really sure what that's about. Um, the other thing that I did, I have yet to actually try this out, though. So let's get in a spot where I'll still have control. And with the weapons. Now, the pistons are still, like, pink, but whatever. Um, lightish red. Uh, the... The thing that was bothering me last time was the open gaps, right? Like, you could see through the gaps. But, um, when I went to try and build around it, the pistons were not happy about it. So, as you can see, I've kind of filled them in a little bit. Well, what I did was, I'm not sure if it'll work yet, but I basically used the, um, whatchamacallit, the inset blast blocks, where they have, um, like this one has the corner taken out and this one has a an edge taken off to give the pistons clearance but then I rode them all the way up to the wall or the, the internal hull so that it's actually attached to the ship and then I sealed around those because the piston is what's having the problem and if my math is right if my estimations are correct then the idea here is these slanted blocks will give this this the clearance to come up without a problem but then technically the piston should be a little bit away from the edge so the fact that it has things around it now shouldn't cause a problem but that's a big 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 shouldn't so we're gonna find out if this works or not by reversing it actually you know what I'm going to I'm gonna slow this way down to like 0.1 now that should affect all of the pistons, I think. So that we can slowly see if it's causing any problems. Which it is. Okay, it's not good. Yeah, okay. So there's two ways we can fix this. One is we can take a layer off of the um, piston, or of, of the blast blocks, or the other option is to mess further with the pistons themselves Wait a minute, why is there no minimal distance? Hold the phone. Why is there no minimal distance on any of these? Are these all selected now? Let's let's find this out real quick. 
Um, let's highlight the group. And if I click on any of these... Okay, so... I think what's happening here is the secondary pistons had been set, but because there wasn't anything underneath them, I didn't need any minimal distance on the first set. So we're going to grab all of these first pistons and set their minimal to 0 0.05, like the other ones are, and see if that does anything. Okay, let's try that now. It's still not good enough. Actually, I can't help but notice those pistons aren't even moving. So I have missed... Wait a minute. What the heck? Did anybody else see that? Hold on. Huh. The piston's retracting without the object. Well, that's new. Um... <laughs> That's a new one for me. Haven't run into that one before. Um, let's see. What is not being selected? There's piston 3 and 4. I wonder if that's one of them. But even still, the rest of them should be fine. Hmm. So I think this is going to end up being a matter of tweaking. Or I could remove this bottom layer or maybe look at doing an inset that has um, two sides missing because I think there is that actually like this one where there's um, one side and then another side kind of thing this is a blast door block corner edge inset I don't see I don't see one that's an edge and one of these, which is a little unfortunate, because that would really make things kind of easier. Um, but we could do something like this one for some of them. I'm not, I'm not really sure. I'd, I'm open to feedback on that one. I thought that would work, but then I wasn't really thinking about this layer right here, um, where it's being retracted up in. So... I don't know, I might have to remove a layer, maybe? Maybe that would be enough to fix the problem, is just remove this right in here. You would still get some sealing, and I mean that by like sealant kind of thing. Um, so I don't know, I don't know. I'm open to suggestions on that one though. But so anyways, that's kind of some of the things I've been working on. I think today we're going to start working on lighting while I'm taking ideas for feedback for the, the rest of that stuff, I think. So for some reason, I don't know, again, if the mods have just been broken by certain things in the update or what, but effectively these lights really aren't doing anything. I mean, you can see a little bit of a glow that wasn't there, like over here on this panel right there, if you watch this. You'll see it kind of glow, but the light itself isn't like doing anything anymore. So I'm not really sure how that happened, or how I would go about fixing it. Um, but we need to work on figuring out some of our lighting issues. So there's a few things that we can work with here. Um, I don't really want to use these standard interior lights, but the ceiling lights aren't really working, so I don't really know how that's going to go. Um, there should be a cable light, though, that's pretty useful. These guys. Cable 8 straight with light, 4 straight with light. So these are pretty useful, because you, if you want to do like the wiring to cover conveyors and things, you can do that, but then you can also have a light in them, which is kind of cool. I like that idea. Um, let's see, what else do we got? What else do we got? Um, these are fake ones. Pipe with light. Let's see what that looks like. We have the little bitty lamps uh, from the SNCN stuff. These are for large ships only. I forgot about that. Let's try lamp? No. Um, hmm. Light... I mean, light's kind of the only other thing I can look at. I, I guess that's all that we had to work with. I thought I had more 
variants than that. But I guess not. We could... Okay, so in case you were wondering why that randomly just cut out, my whole game crashed for clicking this guy. Needless to say, I'm not doing that again. Um, yeah, at first I thought it was because the game updated, because as soon as I closed the game, then it had like a patch, which was weird. And I was like, maybe they pushed it and it caused the game to crash? Weird. So... Then I booted up the game, and I'm like, okay, well, let's equip the lights again. And I equipped them all again, and boom, crashed again. So apparently, that thing is not very friendly to um, to the game. That that mod, whatever that is, it, didn't, it was not happy about stuff. Uh, which also means some of the last-minute little things that I did probably didn't save. Like that kind of stuff. And I'm also leaving my headlamps off. Uh, because I want a more accurate image of how the lights are going to look. So I kind of need to make sure that I don't have the bias of, you know, when you're walking around. Yeah, it's nice and bright in here. Oh, wait, what happened? You know, that wouldn't be good. Um, this is really kind of a shame, though, because the, the lighting from these were really good. I like those. I could have done with a uh, like a set of smaller ones but it still was kind of cool. So my theory here... I'm not really sure. This is another one of those open to suggestion. My theory is going to be using cable lights above... Um, or along the, the pipe stuff here. But everywhere else, I'm probably going to use these along the edges and... Probably, I like these, but I don't like them, if that makes sense. So I'll probably end up using the standard ones in places where this doesn't fit or these don't fit. It's kind of my current theory at the moment. I'm not really sure how well that's going to go. Um, but we'll see. Let's see. We can always put one or... I forgot, I'm also going to need to do corner signs. Wait, where are those? I thought there was, um... Oh, wait, they're LCDs, not signs. That's right. I always get that confused. Um, let's see, where are they? It's these, I think? Corner LCD 2? Yeah. No. Maybe. I think it's actually this one for... Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna need signs. I wanna put signs above the doors. So I can't put lights there, unfortunately. But I can put them next to them, which could also work. Kinda like that, right there, is a good example of what I'm thinking. There we go. Ooh, can I put one here above the vent? Would that work? No, that would not work. Okay. Mm. Well, that's kind of silly, actually. Why can't I put it right there? I can put it on this one. What's the diff? This one, we might have to do some kind of different sign, then, I guess. Wait, it's not letting me put it there either. What the heck? Is it because of the conveyor? Maybe? That must be it, that these are actually attaching to this to the thing above them. Well no, that one lets it do it. Weird. That's really kind of funky. It's gotta be the conveyor that's blocking that, because everything else works fine. That's odd. Um, actually... Oh, the doors are at different sizes. Never mind. I was gonna say that I could put uh, the mirror mode on, but the doors, I think, are at different spots. Nope. Take that back. I somehow ended up with everything working out fine, I think. Okay, well, I guess we can turn these on then. Okay. 
Well, that's interesting. I didn't realize that. Alright, so... Let's also get rid of some of these because they're no longer kind of in the right place. So let's start here and see what we can come up with. Well, that's perfect. Okay, that'll work. Um, we can also mimic the same here. What did I do? Every two, I think. So that could work. Uh, may not do... Oh, you know what? Let's get rid of that one. Uh, we didn't also... I didn't also see what this looks like either. Huh. I guess that's for a different mod, maybe? Oh! I don't remember this being a thing at all. Huh. Pipe with light, pipe with control. Huh. Well, that's something that's interesting and I totally did not even know to look into. Um, I didn't mean to do that. Let's see. One of the things that I just now thought about doing... Well, no, I take that back. So what I was going to say was something like this over here. Um, but that's not going to work, obviously, for the dimensions. But also... Um, because I kind of wanted it to be an L, like a 1 and a 2, and the only ones that were available were 3s. So that's not going to work. Now, in here, we have some different stuff going on that may or may not be conducive to our lighting structure. At the moment, I'm thinking more not. Oh, and I don't want... I don't want that on at this point. How about... Like that. Or we could do... Like this, and then put two here? Maybe? Maybe that'll work. Um, we could definitely put two here. How about we do one here? Get rid of these two. That probably works a little bit better. Um, now I need my LCD signs back. I thought I was done. That's gonna be like reactor room, whatever. Um... Okay, so I think that could work. Actually, that doesn't look that bad with the one on the top and the two on the bottom. Though there's nothing really other than light clutter that would keep us from doing that, really. I just don't want the lighting to get super cluttery. I actually think... I kind of like that better. It's just more spaced out. I'm not really a fan of having them so close together. I'm not really sure that I like this, though. This is a little too packed here. I mean, I, I like it for lighting, but it's not really, not really working for me. Okay, now... Let's tab over what's... Okay, it's this one. And I'm probably not going to use the four all that much. So I might as well just replace this one. This one. We might put it... Like here. That gives us a little bit more... Actually, that gives us a lot more light. Surprisingly wouldn't think that would do that much, but it's a little bit more better. I like it. Um, okay, that goes a different direction, so what I really need is this kind of stuff. If I can get it turned around right, good grief. 
Okay. And what's the difference with this one? This one's just straight cabling, I think. And this is a little bit more messy. Let's do a bit of both. Like that. I think that works. We're missing... We're kind of missing some light over here. And we could always throw in, like, corner LCD displays and things if we wanted to. I do want to put... Oh, we can get rid of that. Let's make this one our main light and LCD and the other can be our cabling. Um... I forget what all I use of these the most. I think I use these guys more than these because these are like ramp size. So let's grab those. And I need to try out some of these newer ones because I, I downloaded another um, a few more mod... What is that? That's not even really legible. The heck is that thing for? Okay. Um, I hope this is right. It is not. I never can get this one right. There needs to be an indicator on like how it's going to display. Uh, so this could be status of the door and reactor room. The rest of this kind of stuff we could actually use. We don't really need a ton of other LCD s displays in here because we've already got a couple of them to do other information once the script's up and running to do so. Um, let's see. I haven't decided for what reason yet, but I kind of always want a couple LCDs by some of these doors. Um, I guess it'll be for, like, status of the rooms at, at the moment or something. I don't really know. Like I said, I haven't really decided on why. I just feel it would be a good idea. This still is not really... It's still not really well lit. Like... It's kind of one of those, it's weird, it's it's like, it is, but it isn't. Cable cross, okay, I need... I guess this would work? What's the next one? Eight to four. Let's look up, do I have all the cable ones that I can use? I think I do. I was kind of looking for a T. This is a four-way cross, but I was kind of looking for like a T junction. But whatever, we can make work, or make use of this, I suppose. And I'd kind of like to do like this. So let's try every three. Will that work? Can I attach it to that? Okay, one, two, three would be here. One, two, three would be here, and then it would just run out, I guess. That could be fine. We'll put... I cannot get this thing to turn right. Put one there and one there, maybe? Would probably light the hull a little bit better. Like I said, the only problem I'm really running into is, um, <laughs> is like the, just getting everything lit. It's really kind of odd. Okay, and we'll go back to this one. I can't keep these rotated correctly to save my life. Oh, really, guys? Come on. <laughs> I totally forgot that that was not attached correctly. <laughs> Dang it! Whatever. I do like the, um... I can't rotate this right. I do like the... Whatchamacallit. 
the cable look. I think that makes it look a little bit more, I don't know, realistic, I guess. If you want to call it that. Make up your mind as to what button switches what. Good gravy. Oh, we can get rid of this. Okay. So I definitely like how that looks in terms of the cabling. The lighting is weird. Like, the lights themselves are very bright. You know, where they're located. It's like a bloom lighting. So it makes them look really well lit. But then there's something about it that just doesn't look very bright out here in the rest of it. So I'm a leery, I'm a little leery of like cranking up the brightness on them because I'm afraid that while it'll light the room up better, it'll end up kind of making the actual lights like really too bright kind of thing. Unless I minimize, unless I remove some of the lights and then just crank them up to where a few lights are all that we need. That's another option. Uh, in here I have the placement, I think, pretty pretty well set up. I do need to mimic the bottom, mayhaps. To match. Is that how I did this? Yes. Uh, not going to be able to do that there. Put that there, that there. I don't really have any spots for cabling unless I remove these panels, but I don't really want to do that because I want to, the um, I want the reactor room to look a bit more like it's compartmentalized. And if I run a cable right there, I don't think I'll like how that looks. So we'll leave that. This one's gonna be a little bit tricky because I think it'll be fine with the, uh, oh, I could put them up here instead, maybe. No, I haven't done that on anywhere else. Okay, so I don't want to do that. Oh, it'll let me. Ooh, I didn't think it would. Well, aren't you interesting? So if I hit the button, actually, let me save this first. Okay. So if I hit the button. Wow, that actually worked. I am genuinely surprised by that. I really didn't think it would actually let me do that. Okay, well, solves that problem. I can put one here and here. I could put one over here. Ooh, you know what? I just realized we have space right there on like all of the doors to place a couple lights without getting in the way of our footpath at all. That's convenient. And somehow I completely managed to miss that. be able to do it on here because of the way I restructured that. I can do it here though, which is good. Mm, I don't think I can do it anywhere else over here. All right, so it's getting better. It's getting better. I'm not still not like a hundred percent really thrilled with it. Um, do I have nothing to attach this to? That's bad. If I do, ooh, ooh, hold on, this is going to be interesting. Could I do like this? No. Okay. So it has to be like attached to the thing. Hmm. All right, well, oh, wait a minute, can I go, oh, these don't connect, okay. 
So if I wanted to do this, let's see, I could do... Wait, why is it not letting me attach to anything? It lets me do it to everything else, but it won't let me do it to this one. What the heck, man? Alright, let's try this then. We're gonna go off of this guy right here. Let's do... Wait, I still can't grab... What in the world is going on with this madness? Oh, there we go. Okay, we can do that. Can't do that. Um, I guess... I'm not really sure what this block is for, now that I'm... Now that I'm thinking about it, because it never lets me attach to anything. Oh, and that's taking up the whole thing? Alright, cool. How do you make a transition? If it takes up the whole block? That's not gonna work for me. Um... Yeah, no. That's not, uh, that's not gonna work. Poo. Alright, well, I don't know how to mess with that. So, I think we're gonna wrap things up here for this episode. So far, we made a little bit of progress in the design, or the detail work. So let me know what you guys think about all that in the comments. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.